A new children's book is aiming to teach kids about an important and devastating chapter in world history. Here to tell us more about I Will Protect You, a true story of twins who survived Auschwitz, is the book's co author, Danica Davidson. So wonderful to have you here. Thank you for having me. Nice to see you. Okay, so this book is about two twin sisters who survived the Holocaust. How did it come about that you met them? I met Eva Kaur, who's the one I worked on the book with, when she came to Western to give a speech a few years ago. And I met her afterward. I was hoping I could interview her because I'm an author as well as a journalist. And I mentioned, oh, I've written some kids' books. And she completely lit up. She said, we have to reach kids with these stories. Because she said, in schools, the Holocaust education starts at 12 or later or not at all and she said that's too late mm -hmm. and we're seeing how it's too late so she had been trying to find a children's author to get her story down for 8 or 12 year olds which is what this book is and how so the process then of of writing that book how did you decide where to start and and how much to tell I started by interviewing her and giving her ideas because I thought if this is gonna be a kids book it can't just be this happens and that happens it has to read like a novel it has to be interesting it has to be fast pace and they need to know what happened but it can't be graphic which yeah. is a balancing act to do mm -hmm. and I was very grateful because my father taught me about the Holocaust in elementary school and I remember how he taught me so that helped me know kind of the voice to use to talk to kids about this if this is the first time and it's all narrated from a child's point of view because Eva was an elementary school kid when she survived Auschwitz which is extremely rare there were very few child survivors there Tell me then about after the book was finished and more about Eva, what happened? Eva was an amazing person. You know, she was one of 3,000 twins who were experimented on in Auschwitz. Only 160 survived. After the war, she ended up in Indiana, and she eventually became a major Holocaust educator. She would bang on any door she could get into to tell you about the Holocaust, because she wanted people to know, because she didn't want it happening again. And she has a PBS special. There's a BuzzFeed video that's been seen millions of times about her. But then she told me what she still needed to do was reach kids. She wanted the book for that because she'd go visit classrooms but she knew she wasn't going to be around forever yeah and then eventually she got to see this come to fruition yes she got to see the manuscript I would write it chapters at a time mm -hmm. email it to her to get her thoughts she only ever wanted little tweaks made to it she really liked how it came about and then after the manuscript was written I sent it to educators to rabbis to Holocaust scholars got their opinions, sent it to the publisher, and we got an offer from Little Brown, which is a major, wonderful publisher. And it's available now. How can people get it? They can get it anywhere books are sold. It's online. It's in stores. It's available as a hardcover, an ebook, and an audiobook. Okay. And like you say, it's a difficult story, but an important one. Yes. Really appreciate you being here tonight. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.